Okay, we made it through the week. It is now Friday. And we're getting into a doozy for our quarantine fit. You're gonna be doing 27, 21, 15, nine reps, going through three movements. There's gonna be a lot of weighted options today. So we're first gonna go through all the one unweighted movements, and then we'll get into more of the weighted options. So first up, we are going to do the air thruster. If you've ever done the thruster with a barbell or a dumbbell, you're probably pretty familiar with this, but we can still accomplish a lot of work without using any weight at all. So what it's gonna look like is, thumbs are gonna go out first. You're going to put them onto your shoulders, keeping the elbows high as we descend into that squat. We're gonna go all the way below parallel, use the legs first, arms reach nice and high overhead, then my thumbs come back to my shoulders before I descend to that next rep. That is the air thruster. Movement number one. Movement number two, we're gonna do the side plank twist. So I'm gonna to have to come to the floor here. We're gonna go from the elbow today just because this will give us a little more surface area. Going from the elbow, I'm going to twist underneath. Then as I come up, I'm gonna try and bring the elbow behind my back, come back down, twist. We're gonna to have to do our best to try and split this amongst the sides, but that's movement two the side plank twist. Movement three for my unweighted folks is going to be the strict burpee. So normally we lay down, stand up, jump for that burpee. The in-between isn't so important. Today we're purposely going to descend using a push-up, hence the strict burpee part. So hands are gonna to come to the floor, feet are going to shoot back, then I'm going to lower myself down in a push-up feet shoot back in, then I'll get the jump overhead. Those are our unweighted options. Now we're gonna go back through for our weighted options. We're gonna utilize either dumbbells or bands, depending on what you have. So in replacement for the air thruster, we're going to use the dumbbells for the dumbbell thruster. Similar setup, dumbbells go on the shoulders. We're going to descend into that squat, use the legs, arms come overhead back down, arms come overhead. That's option one for my weighted folks. If you only have a band, what you're going to do is you can go, it's gonna be a little weird depending on how thick your band is, but we can accomplish a lot of the same using the band. So I squat down, come overhead. As you get higher and higher, that tension is going to be more and more. So that's our replacement exercises for the air thruster. Movement two for the side plank twist is gonna be a little different. We're gonna go dumbbell snatch. So dumbbell is gonna be in between the legs, I'm going to reach down, trying to avoid as much twisting of the torso as I can. Big jump, press overhead, then I'll come back down for that next rep, switching sides. Up overhead. If again, all you have is a band, you're gonna step in that band on one side and bring it up to the shoulder. You're gonna go single arm presses. Again, very difficult, especially coming off of those thrusters. Those are our replacements for the side plank twist. Last but not least, we have the strict burpee. And this weighted option really doesn't carry over all too well because what we're doing is the hang dumbbell clean and jerk. So you can go dumbbell on the outside or in between the legs, I'm going to bring the dumbbell to the shoulder, then up overhead. So some cycling will look like this. Okay, so those are all of our options for movements today and we are going to do 27, 21, 15, nine of each. This is four time, so do big chunks of work, hit it hard, have fun, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, share it to somebody who needs it, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for our next workout.